welcome back to my channel Ellery here first of all shout out to y'all I told y'all I'll read the comments so you guys left me a lot of love and prayers on my last video I'm sorry I scared some y'all that actually scared me because I didn't know none of that was happening like I said in the moment so thank you guys for sending your prayer warriors up I feel a lot better obviously because I have makeup on I have hair on all the stuff you guys hate because that's also what I read in the comments like uh, you can do without the lashes the wigs the makeup the clothes the the the, the everything but it's all back i'm so sorry to disappoint um those who liked my nakedness um catch me on sunday it'll be back but i'm on my way to my besties gender reveal it's 11 30 it's very gloomy outside but um she's very anxious to find out what she's having obviously and her baby daddy was like now we need to do this two weeks later and she was like baby no we don't so we're making it happen i meant to show you guys everything that i got for the setup it's very small it's at a park it's not like a big gender reveal you know like instagram worthy it's just a small group of friends getting together but um i ran out of time because i was also having to get yoshi ready yeah that lighting was much better get yoshi ready because she's on her way to an audition and she has two musical plays whatever you want to call it today like she has to perform twice today so she has a very busy day she's been very tired she's been sick so i got her a little gift for when i go see her show later at seven o'clock i also have to attend a birthday birthday party after her show so I'm a little busy as well and I kind of got a cough too I don't know if she gave it to me or if it's just a little <laughs> you know false alarm but I'm still not 100% this is my first time wearing clothes like that aren't baggy and even though I have on some really baggy jeans my stomach is still like brick at the bottom so I'm not the most comfortable right now but I'm gonna suck it out per usual it's gonna be my first day also back having a little sip of libation <clears throat> li li <clears throat> little libation so i'm gonna take it easy because i haven't drank in like almost a month and my body's probably gonna be like oh my god this again ghetto we're back to the ghetto so i have to let her know like yeah baby we're back so yeah i'm gonna take it easy tonight this is not what i'm wearing later i'm gonna wear something really cute later i had to throw on some press-ons and paint over them they're really I gotta show them from back here because they're kind of a hot mess, but they're temporary because my birthday nails are coming soon because we like 24 days out, baby. But anyways, I'm talking too much. On the way to the park, I will show you guys the little setup when I get there. If you guys follow my Instagram, you already know what she's having because I did a live. Yes, I never do lives, but I did a live on Instagram, so y'all got the exclusive that's why you gotta follow me on instagram but if you hear you still get behind the scenes so five nieces and nephews bruh i think i might be capped at five because both of them said they didn't have no more kids so five am i about to have a be an auntie of five like <laughs> all right it started to sprinkle a little bit so i put my hat on i just finished setting up all the stuff that i brought oh and side note we didn't reserve this area so right when i got here another car pulled up that i could tell was about to sit over here and this is not even me i had to hustle off the car to like put my my germs on this section and there's been like two or three cars that i've rolled up thinking they're about to have something here but i came on time i came on time for the first time and it and it mattered the most all right so six tables nothing too fancy they're all covered this is the table because um, I believe she said if it's a boy, bring wipes and if it's a girl, bring diapers, one or the other. And then I have a blue and pink pen for them to write on the wood basket their name. If they think it's a boy or a girl, just to keep safe for her to like keep a basket of diaper or wipes somewhere and I just put little knickknacks inside. Then this is the table where she's going to do the reveal. I'm going to have the camera, two cameras set up here for her mom, their mom and their dads. Um, so they could see it. She's gonna spray paint some Air Force Ones, but I'm gonna have Brandon, the daddy, and the guy daddy do the poppers just so it's more of a like a wowser type of moment. Then we have food and champagne over here. Brandon has more bottles and more food, and he has all the cups, napkins, and plates. I have the forks, and then this is just where everyone's gonna do the viewing. Very simple, something you pull together in a week. I'm here dolo. It is, what time is it? Cause everybody late. Well, actually Brandon and Taj are late. They said they were gonna be here at 12 and it's almost 12.30, but he should be pulling up any minute now. Everybody else that has seen me plant my roots has thought of their plan B. No confrontation. Brooklyn, turn around. It's a muddy puddle. Peppa Pig, Peppa Pig, turn around. It's a muddy puddle. Go see brother. I to ask you. I feel like this was beyond. Yeah. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, Trey. Hey, Winston. What's up, brother? 
It's a very aggressive miss, but we're covered. We're covered by the rain. It'll stop, right? It will. It said no rain. That's why we didn't cancel. It's just a hard miss. Do you see Bagwell? Oh, why are he? Oh, he got Beijing on his cover. Up. Hola. You signed it? Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Host this with the most. Just tell us what's going on. So uh, we're gonna count to three. Tajray is gonna spray as soon as she's as soon as you hear. Hold on, y'all. Because we want her to spray first. Then y'all are gonna pop the poppers, okay? Oh my god. So it's basically y'all on four. Taj is on three. Okay. Brandon, scoot over Wait, just a smidge to the right. And Ian, scoot over just a squid, squish to the right because you're not in the, uh, the parents' pants. Okay, there you go. Come here, so well, I'm going on the brain on what number? I'm three. Y'all ready? Yeah. Ten. What? Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. All right, we just got to Zara's thing. Hi. Callie's leaving me as if we didn't come here together. All right, I gotta put some lip gloss on. We gotta find some seats. We're very early, like 30 minutes, but. I don't, I wonder why she, did she do a purple? She likes green. Because the, the, the characters are
All right, y'all, just got back from Yoshi's thing, broke two nails, cause they cheat, and the glue sucks. But I'm bringing some nail glue with me. This is my outfit, very bright. I wanted to get a picture, don't know if I am, so might be seeing this again if I don't get a picture tonight, cause I never do. I did buy a little ring, uh, I mean a little camera light, but I'm so old, I don't even know how to put the shit together. It only got two pieces. I gotta get to the, the Gen Zers to figure out how to put it together. But anyways, on my way to the rooftop, gonna be a lot of beautiful black people. All right. Good afternoon, y'all. Happy, it's Monday now. I went out on Saturday and I ended up staying at um, Taj's house. Boy, if there was cameras rolling in that house, when I tell you we talked about, we literally talked until one o'clock in the morning. Like at this point, we need to start a podcast because we clearly have a lot to talk about. But it was some very interesting conversations over libations, if you can imagine. I got to spend time with my nephews and my bestie, which is always great. So I, I didn't feel that great. My stomach is still like hard at where my incision is. And I need it to go away because it's like a lump. I guess from all the multiple layers of the stitches. And I do not want to be lumpity bumpity on my birthday. And it's only like two, three weeks away. I don't know, but it needs to go down. But anyways, I'm in the carpool lane to pick up Yosh. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a rough week. The time change really did a number on me. I feel extra tired even though I slept for a very long time. It's weird. I don't really think I have anything going on this week. The musical is over, finally. You know, she's sad about it, but I'm glad about it. She did so good, y'all. Like, really, really, really good. I'm so proud of her, I'm happy for her. It's definitely well worth it. She did amazing, it was really good. Everybody got to see her, her grandmothers, aunts, daddies, cousins. So, that was good. And now everything is kind of going back to normal, finally. I, wanted, I still want to take her out to eat to congratulate her. So I'm thinking about Red Lobster Tuesdays tomorrow. But uh, that might even be for me. So maybe I'm congratulating myself and in denial about it. But yeah, we're going to eat somewhere. Twin, where have you been? No, How was daddy. school? Oh, it was, it was good. Oh my God, it was a fight today. Oh my. It what? was like in front of the whole cafeteria too. Oh. Um. So basically, it really was out of nowhere to like, no like leading up to or nothing. They just got up and mm -mm. Okay, so basically, uh, it was like two tables in front of mine. And I faced this way at lunch, so I got to see it. Like, <sighs> that's a good thing. I know, right? I'm just saying, I, got, I'm just, I saw it. And basically, it was between these two kids. We'll call one pineapple and one strawberry. They don't sound fruity to me. They sound more like, maybe let's name them. Um, Salt and pepper? Yeah, let's do salt and pepper. Okay, let's do spicy. salt and pepper. Maybe okay. tahini. <laughs> yeah, no, just go ahead, sorry. Okay, so salt. I don't, I don't really know salt or pepper like that. They're both boys. And um, apparently they had beef or something that I didn't know about that because I don't know them. But then pepper got up. Pepper and salt both got up, and Pepper was just like, ah! Like, did that. His salt's nose was bleeding. Oh my gosh. There was blood. Salt's nose was bleeding. And everybody, all the police officers, the teachers, they all got up. And um, my math teacher had to hold uh, salt away. Oh, that was the biggest fight I've ever seen in person. Sheesh. And he, it wasn't even that long. It only lasted like three seconds or so. Okay, I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, we were all scared. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, my Stanley topper is about to break, mom. I need new one. You have two more. The pink one's ugly. Well, that's life. You don't get to just get some new because you don't like the color. I was crying my eyes out yesterday. I heard. Oh, for who? What do you think? What that? Clearly. <laughs> You thought something was like terribly wrong with you. Come to find out, you're crying because music was over. I miss Horny Effort. I, I, we started that musical eight months ago. It's almost a year. It's almost a year. And I miss so many new eighth graders that I like would have never known existed if I didn't join the musical. And I love them all. They're all my little pookies. And they're all so nice. And they're so much nice in seventh graders. Seventh graders are mean little poo poo heads. Well, you're about to be an eighth grader very soon. Yeah, but the 8th graders are going to be gone. That's the whole point. Now he is a Lion King. 
Lion Queen, King of the School, Queen of the School. You're the leader of the pack once you're in eighth grade. I'm the alpha. I'm the leader. I'm the one to trust. Do you have any assignments due? Because they sent something saying everything's due on the 15th. So. I need to do a work day today because I need to look at the trauma card for my work because that musical has drained me. Yeah, well, at least you know. So make sure you do that. I'm so hungry. Find something to eat. Oh my gosh. I want grocery shopping. I'm not buying oh. nothing. Is there snacks? I don't know. How do you not know if you bought it? What do you consider a snack? Like chips? You had a whole box full of chips from the birthday party. Most Pick a bag. Rest. Okay. Pick a bag, get a bag. All right, it's dinner time. She's been sitting here doing homework most of the day. My stomach has been hurting most of the day. I don't know why this camera's so dark. But we were gonna watch a movie, but it's already nine o'clock. I don't know how that happened. I don't know what I made just now. It's like a very girthy salad. She wanted pasta, so I used some of the pasta noodles and put some avocado, tomato, uh, croutons, cheese, some shrimp. Very much giving big back. But this is pretty much gonna be our night. <laughs> her dad's gonna bring her bag and he's being very petty right now because he has a video that i've been asking him to see but he wants to be here when we see it it's like an old commercial yoshi did when she was like two if he gives it to me check out yoshi's channel tomorrow and i'll put it on her uh youtube video my baby was doing commercials when she was two it's giving always been a star will always be a star right Period. But yeah, that's our night. Okay, wait to take this wig off. I'm gonna live in my bed so my stomach can stop hurting. Send me right, Yosh. Say goodnight. Good afternoon. My family power broke today. It's a very sad day. Well, you should have got the one I told you to get. I can't find it. Well, that's tragic because I did tell you to put it in your room as soon as you put the one that Actually, you had in there. I thought it was my backpack, but I guess well, you it isn't. thought wrong. My hair looks bad. Can I wear it down tomorrow after you wash it? Sir, you always come in hot when you get home from school. I had a really emotionally rough day. Like every time you get in this car, you're asking, you just, before I even film, where are we going? What are we doing? I'm bored. I don't want to hear that when I pick you up from school. Especially when you have homework, you have a messy room. You shouldn't be asking me to do nothing. You haven't unpacked your bag from your dad's house. You have trash and food wrappers in your bag and in your room. Stuff all over your floor. Your bed's not made. And you have missing assignments. Don't ask me for nothing. You have a checklist. How many more assignments do you have left to do? You need to figure that out first. Because you have, what, till Friday to finish everything? You really don't have any time. Because tomorrow you have practice. Thursday Wait, no. you have practice. Tomorrow's the 13th. That was Friday. Never mind. Either way, you don't have a lot of time, so you need to figure out how many missing assignments you have. What did you want on your nails? I just wanted them white gel. You don't have time for that either. Like, I as soon as you that. get the, uh, you asked me to do your nails. I did. Okay, so my point is, the sooner you get what you need to get done, the sooner we can get the things done you want done. Don't that make sense? Things I need to do, things I want to do. I'm emotionally drained. I'm not. In a what good do do? mental headspace right now. What did you do? I didn't do anything. What did life do to me? How about that? All right, Zara made a goal to work as much as she can until six o'clock. Then she's gonna take a break at six o'clock, clean her room. Then I'm gonna do her hair and paint her nails. I'm trying, y'all. She's about to be 13 and she's still very much so, I gotta use it, irresponsible, disorganized, not clean all over the place, addicted to the phone, not scared for her to be caught on her phone. Like she's, she, it's just been, she's not really the main reason why I had a rough day, but if I can get her in line as far as what she's supposed to do and what she needs to do and being organized, it would definitely help me. I think sometimes I just have spurts of like, Especially when I feel like I should or I could be doing more. If you've been following me forever, like even before I was on YouTube, I've been doing everything by myself for the past 13 years. No assistant, no intern, no team. Even when I was signed to an agency, he wasn't really for me. He never really booked me jobs. He, even three years in, he didn't even know how many kids I had or ages. So I wouldn't even consider that help. 
It was more so I was just giving somebody some commission. But um, my mom may handle my emails for me, but at the end of the day, like, I'm exhausted. I do, I do a lot, and I feel like now that everybody has their families, like especially my bestie, because she usually is the main one that will like see me going through stuff and be there, but she can't, obviously, because she has two kids, one pending, a lot going on herself. So I've been feeling more like, I don't really have anybody to talk to. I don't have anybody to vent to. I don't have nobody to do nothing with. I'm just kind of like more solo dolo than I'm comfortable with right now. Excuse the emotions. It's a lot and I'm usually like excited around this time because my birthday is coming up, but I'm not that excited. <laughs> I'm just like, <sighs> I hate crying, especially y'all know I don't even cry here. I do not do this, but I'm just trying to find like my purpose again and get excited about things again and even with content I used to be like it used to come so natural it's not anymore I don't know I just feel really confused and it's a lot dealing with like a lot of emotions by yourself all the time I honestly feel like y'all even though I don't know y'all like that like when I read comments like they're really helpful but at the same time you know I don't know. I know I'm gonna get it together. I have my moments. I just never really share them on camera because I try to be as positive as possible when I film just because I feel like sometimes, you know, when you watch like something that's like your favorite TV show, it kind of helps you get out of whatever negative space you were in. Like sometimes I feel like people do stuff to get them, bring their spirits up. So I would ne I don't like being on camera and then this is y'all video for the week and your girl is in shambles. So <laughs> I try not to bring that to, don't look at my nails either, they're falling apart. I try not to bring that to my channel too much, but it is real life and I do be going through real life stuff. So I don't know, I'm gonna get it together. I pray a lot and I've had moments like this a lot, more so a couple of years ago. I feel like I got them under control for the most part, but then like when the surgery happened, <sighs> And then I let certain people that just kind of disrupted my mental peace. It, it just, I feel like I'm kind of like falling back. So I just need to get myself busy again. Tomorrow I'm gonna spend all day working. We didn't go to uh, Red Lobster today because I did not charge my car. So I didn't have enough charge to get there and back. Plus Yoshi has so much work to do before Friday when report cards come out. I wanna go to the mall on Saturday cause I need some new sunglasses, well I want some new sunglasses for my birthday. I'm trying to like, I don't know if I'm buying my happiness at this point, but, and if you know me, you know I'm not even a shopper, but I kinda like wanna just go to the mall and shop, which is not good cause I'm very cheap and I may, I may regret it once I feel better. Like, oh my God, did I really spend that much money on a pair of glasses? But I do want a pair of glasses and some new sandals and maybe heels. That's it though. I don't buy designer clothes. It's really just shoes, bags, and uh, glasses. So um, yeah, but that is my plan for this weekend. It's gonna be a nice weekend besides, uh, I think one day it's gonna rain. So I, I wanna take the kids to get some ice cream or something. But yeah, I'm okay. Stomach hurts a little bit, so I'ma sit down, rest my little belly, and distract myself so I can get out of my head. Good morning, it's a new day. Couldn't get myself together it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new something. It's a new world. A new world. And I'm feeling good. That was unnecessary, but couldn't get myself together yesterday. So I'm starting fresh today. I tossed and turned all night. I I'm, I'm clearly officially like real life sick. I thought it was from that tube down my throat because I've been coughing since my surgery, but I was coughing all night long. So I took an emergency last night. I'm gonna take me a little test to make sure it ain't nothing serious. I was wondering, I was so sleepy yesterday. Like when I came home from dropping Zara off, I went to sleep for like three more hours. I woke up and in the daytime I was so tired. Mind you, I'm still anemic, so it's probably had something to do with that too because at my follow-up appointment. I think my hemoglobin was like eight or nine, so 
I'm supposed to be 12. These and it makes me sleepy, so I have another appointment next week. Is it next week? Yeah, I think I have another appointment, follow-up appointment, either next week or the week after that. I want to tell them to check my blood again and give me something to give me my energy back because I thought I would be fine by now. And I'm not, and it's annoying. Did these wake up back? This, it's a cough drop, sorry. So, I don't know. Toothpaste should make your breath smell good. I use. Did you use mouthwash? No. She's like the most unblack person ever. She I takes a shower, doesn't use lotion. I do. No, use you don't use it all the time. You take a shower, you come downstairs, and your legs are full blown ashy. Whoa. Like, that's not using lotion. Anyways, about to drop her off for school, go home, make me some coffee, get to work. I'm trying to have a productive day. I need to take these nails off clearly. Whoa. What do you mean, whoa? Why are they different? Because I didn't drill off the press on polish, so it didn't really, the gel polish didn't really stick to it. So it's just been chipping away. But it was only supposed to be for the weekend anyway, it was temporary. When are you do my nails? When you finish all your schoolwork, like I told you. Are you almost done? Uh, I think so. I've done all the major, well, I did Everything's my, major. I did my uh, task cards, yeah, last night. Uh, and I actually fell asleep. I don't even remember it happening. I just woke up. But just FYI, you just showed me with all those late assignments that you have and missing assignments, you can't do two things at once. What late assignments? It doesn't matter. You had that musical, but you still had days where you came home or didn't have practice, and you did not tell me or do any work at all. So we're still going to be grounded for the rest of this month. Whoa. Because there's no reason what why you should work. Sorry, what you're doing right now is missing assignments that you literally said no, out no, your mouth you didn't have time to do because you were busy with the musical. That means you didn't prioritize because there's been plenty of times during that musical that you came home and got on your phone or watched TV. Nothing's missing right now. Everything's taken until the Friday. Sorry. If it's missing and she's giving you till Friday to turn it in, that means you didn't turn it in on time. It said missing. You weren't doing it on time and you said it out your mouth. I have a lot to do because the musical kept me busy. Now all of a sudden, oh, none of this stuff is late. Yes, it is. So that tells me that when you didn't have practice or when you got home for practice, you did not pull out that computer and do anything, which tells me you can't do a thing that takes up your time like that because you did not prioritize your homework at all. And, and I always th thought you were good at that. So I never worried me that you weren't doing homework because you usually never have it. But for you to have all that stuff that you didn't turn in yet and you have to crunch it in all up until Friday, that's not cool. And that's never going to fly with me. You can never be in anything that's going to take you away from getting your schoolwork done. I don't care if it's a musical, a play, a movie. You're not turning in nothing late like that. And if you can't handle both, you can't do both. I hate when you do this. Excuse me? I hate when you do this. Can you talk about this to me off camera? No, you can be held accountable on camera. I hold myself on accountable too. What do you mean talk about this off camera? That you're not doing your schoolwork? You think you're the only kid in America not doing their work? But you do need to learn that you need to learn how to balance your time. And that you can't do stuff you want to do if you can't get the stuff you need to get done done. That's just common sense for any child. Have a good day. You're at school early. Whenever you have free time, get your work done. Wow, I need to have an attitude, bruh. Oh my god, like I'm being tried so many. I'm being tried by everybody. It's not even funny. Like, like how you mad at me because you didn't get your work done? She act like I just gave her a whooping in front of y'all. Like I'm confused. Mind you, she never get out the car without saying bye to me, even when I do frustrate her. I just feel like I'm being tried by everybody. And the Lord's trying to make me see how I handle it, and I'm failing. I'm doing bad. I, um, oh, I gotta go. All right, coffee's being made. And y'all can tell me if I'm wrong, because I don't like that she said that she don't like when I do that to her on camera. And if that's enough for me not to do it anymore, I won't. But at the same time, I don't feel like nothing that I said to her was harsh. She has hella missing assignments. Like, she's been doing them for the past, since Monday. When the teacher said that they're all due Friday, she's been actually doing... Missing work since Monday, and she's not done. So I think she's mad she told on herself and that she wasn't doing it because she was doing the musical stuff. But at the same time, lesson to be learned. If you can't get your old schoolwork done, you can't participate in fun activities. I had no clue she wasn't doing her work because she never usually has homework. But she does have in-class assignments that I'm feeling like is probably the, the issue here. 
But at the same time, I don't care that you're mad that I'm calling you out in front of people because all kids need to know, you don't get to do fun stuff when you ain't doing your homework. Like, that's common sense. So if I'm wrong, you can give me your opinion, but I'm still gonna, you know, parent how I wanna parent. But at the same time, I didn't do nothing to embarrass that child. Do your work. I'm not even a clickbait type of content creator. Otherwise, I'd have way more views than I do if I was really showing y'all the real. Like, <laughs> if I was really showing y'all what goes on in my life, baby. The tunage would be every week, very high. But I don't do that, because I respect my own privacy, other people's privacy, and uh, I don't get paid enough to share that much. You know what I'm saying? But this year is starting off really bad for me. Everybody is trying me, and the last person I feel like should try me is my own kid, because you're what? You're privileged. You have everything you want. Do not try me. Do what you're supposed to do, period. Anyways, I digress. I'm about to do some work. I had to put all this stuff away. This is some of the, um, Packages I got this week. This is from Vaseline. Ooh, it's a hydrating. Ooh, I love body oil sprays. This is a radiant hydrating body oil spray. Then we got some lotion, and this is a body butter, I'm sure, because everybody's in the body butters now. Body cream. So thank you, Vaseline. Got some more stuff from Pixie. You know what's so crazy? Okay, let me just tell you first. This is a, a primer, makeup setting mist. This has rose water, green tea. What does it say? Eau de Rose and something divert? I don't know, you know, I can't read. And this says it's a loose powder. And when I saw this, I got kind of creeped out because right before I got this package, it's been on the table for a couple days, but I have been watching hella videos with these melting stamp things. Like you melt this, you stamp it as for to seal envelopes, but I had watched, I had been watching hella videos on these. I don't know why I get like, Addicted to those weird videos. At one point, it was like the carpet washing videos I was addicted to. The other day, I was addicted to these. Some days will be something else that's just weird. I'll be like, okay, Ellery, it's showing up in your For You page way too much. Stop watching it. So it was just weird that I was watching those videos and then I get one in PR. Weird times. Anyways, then we got some from Glow Recipe, which was shocking because I usually don't get Glow Recipe PR anymore, but some watermelon. Tinted Serum, Hue Drops. I don't have any idea what this is. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. Um, maybe it's just a nightlight. There are no instructions, but it's it's giving it's giving a little dewy nightlight. Oh, it says take a self selfie, it's glowing hour. So maybe it's a nightlight to give you a glow. I don't know. My brain isn't even working at full capacity right now. Then over here, Huda Beauty's Faux Filler Glosses and Lip Liners. I clearly wore these over the weekend because there's a couple missing. I really like them. There's liners that match a pertaining gloss. The picture and the video that I had when I had the orange shirt on, That's this is what I had on. I had like a dark liner. And I use one of the light glosses to like blend out the dark liner. And it looks pretty cute, so new fave. Also has this cute little mirror too. I know I love me some Huda Beauty. Kind of like one of my consistent favorite makeup brands. Is that it? Oh, and then kind of late open in this one, but it's from Black History Month from L'Oreal. Cute little sweater that says I'm worth it. This cute little blank journal, which I love. I've mentioned before that I've had a journal diary since I was in the sixth grade and I still use them. I have like six of them now. So the one I have currently is running out of pages. I might just switch to her cause she's cute. And then there's just a bag full of like the goodies they've sent in the past. I love L'Oreal skincare. So excited about all this. And I also love their hairspray. L'Oreal is one of my favorite drugstore brands besides Cover girl, so I love their Lumi Glotion too. I use that too. I use their Elnet, I use their Hyaluronic Serums. Like, they got some good stuff. I haven't used this, but I'm gonna need this for the vacay. Huda also has some new shadow compacts. It's part of their, I think it says, creamy collection. This is the warmer one. Cute little pouch. There was also some eyeliner and mascara in here. So, yeah. That's about it. These are all Zara's roses from her musical. I stuffed them all in one vase because her dad, when he uh, brought the commercial over and her bag over, it was late and I didn't feel like getting separate vases. So I just stuffed them all in one. And she wanted to put them in her room, but I said, nah, while your room is dirty, roses already smell like boo-boo. And you want me to bring roses into your dirty room? No, 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 no. Clean your room first. And she still hasn't done that. That's why I be telling y'all, she be trying me. 
So why isn't your room clean yet? I get you fell asleep. Wow, I should feel bad because you are and you have been tired and you worked a lot last week, but your room shouldn't be dirty in the first place. You were gone all weekend. Why is it dirty? Oh, and then you know who irritated me too? It was Amazon. I had bought this. Y'all probably were like, girl, we use this and yeah, it's expensive, but I didn't know that. I had bought this because I heard good things about it. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Caudal Caudalie, this right here, Caudalie. I don't know if that's how you say it, but I heard really good things about it. So I saw it on Amazon, it was $20. I was like, uh, $20 more than I would like to spend, but let me go ahead and get it. I did not know it was one ounce. I paid $20 for one ounce. I'm gonna keep it just to see if it, like, wow, $20 for just this much? Gotta be giving a uh, Baccarat, like, for my skin, you know what I'm saying? So, if you guys have this and you guys think it's worth the money, please tell me. I'm gonna try it out myself, but I wanna know y'all feedback if you guys buy it consistently, because even if I do like it, I don't know if I would buy it again, because $20 means that the regular three ounce bottle is probably 50. Hmm. Out of my budget, out of my range. So if you guys are familiar with it and you think it's worth it, let me know and I'll consider it. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna drink my coffee and get to work. Sorry I had a mental breakdown on y'all. It actually was very well contained. I was trying to get myself together on here. Some of the, One of the astrologists said that March was supposed to be my month. We 12, 13 days in, baby. When is it gonna start? <laughs> Cause uh, by the time I get there, I'm gonna be on Xanax and uh, vape. I'm trying to live a drug-free life. Um, but yeah. Gonna work on myself for next vlog. Uh, stay tuned. Check out Yoshi's channel tomorrow. And uh, we got this. If y'all are going through similar things as me, we got this. They're temporary. Have some patience. Do some deep breathing. <sighs> Everything will get better. Just needs to hurry on up now. All right. I'll see y'all next week. Till next time. Bye.